Today is Sunday, the 29th of November, the first Sunday of Advent. This is the second stop along the longer path of the Stations of the Nativity, and the first stop along the shorter path. Listen closely for a word from God in the Gospel of St. Mark, the first chapter, verses 1 through 8. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophet Isaiah. See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Sometimes it feels like there is no way. There is no way forward, nor even a glimmer of possibility. That was the beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ. It felt exactly like that in the wilderness of impossibility. But it was there that John the baptizer cried out for hope and peace. In the wildness of multiple pandemics, it is our holy task to listen for the messengers of love. Wild God, begin our hope in the wildness of possibility. Do not mollify us with perfect peace, but dare us to dream of the change we hope for this world, for this church, and for ourselves. Amen. Feel the strength in your weary legs. Bend your knees enough that you can see the weeds underfoot. Cast your gaze upon wild grasses insisting on life and dry ground. See how the cactus defends herself with spines and the prickly vines snake towards the light. Roots below dig deep to find life-giving water. Limbs above stretch wide to find light. And so it is with you. You have adapted to these rough and unforgiving times. Pull up a weed and take it with you to remind yourself 